Well, I think in answer to the original question, um, there should have been a windfall tax much, much sooner than today. It's a very belated recognition of what people have been feeling in their pocket and in their homes um, for a very, very long time. We have called for a windfall tax. Um, I think any mitigations that will help, uh, as announced today, are low-income families, um, pensioners, those in receipt of disability benefits, is to be welcomed. But it's already been touched on from the comments. The reaction from our caretaker finance minister today to the Treasury's announcement is to immediately engage with them to figure out how that money can get into the pockets of people here who need it. Because the reason why it can't automatically go into the pockets is because we have no executive. And I actually was very surprised to hear Emma speak about how important cost of living is, because if it was that important, we would have an executive, we'd have ministers round the table, and money would be released and going into people's pockets. No, I, I don't agree with the premise that the protocol is an identity issue. Uh, I think it's a trading issue. Um, it, it's worth repeating the fact that the protocol was as a result of a very painfully long set of negotiations since the Brexit referendum, which I'll remind people if they need reminding, people here didn't vote for. Um, but when those who championed for Brexit, like the DUP did, and for those who rejected every manifestation of Brexit the way the DUP did, I think it's a bit rich to then complain about the outworkings of a political movement that you back from the very outset. The protocol, the protocol is not something that was imposed by the European Union upon the United Kingdom. It was an agreement that was negotiated. It was an agreement that was then entered, entered into by the, two, uh, by the two partners. It was legislated for. In fact, Boris Johnson won a, a, an election solely on getting Brexit done. And in fact, if we cast our minds back to 2020, we were told that customs checks in the REC wouldn't alter the constitutional basis of this jurisdiction one bit. That's not my words. They're the words of Geoffrey Donaldson. We were also told that this had enormous economic potential. Again, the words of DUP representatives at that time, and that is the truth. This allows a small jurisdiction unique access to two markets. When I'm in Westminster, I talk to Scottish colleagues who say quite literally they would give their right arm for the economic position that we find ourselves in. Now, are there, are there problems with such a fundamental trading shift? Of course there are. Is there ability to solve those? You better believe it. And contained within the protocol are the mechanisms to identify problems and then find and implement solutions. But you will only do that if you have two people willing to negotiate with each other in a credible fashion. And frankly, the British government have been found wanting in that regard. Okay. Put on there in the black t-shirt. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I actually welcome the way in which the question mm. is worded because I don't think anybody anybody, uh, and I talk to a lot of people and I'm, I, I'm on a lot of um, debates like this, nobody is advocating um, for a referendum, a border poll uh, tomorrow morning or indeed you know, next year, because that just repeats the reckless mistakes. Of but that Brexit. is something you want to see in the future. Oh yes, of course it is <laughs> and we've been very clear on this, we want to see the conversation which has already taken place, the fact that you're asking the question is proof of that. I think people want to know what a new Ireland looks like. Uh, I think people want to see that, um, that conversation informed and that's why we have called on the Irish government to convene a citizens assembly which will do just that. Um, we have called on the British government to clarify that term in the Good Friday Agreement as to what would actually trigger um, such referendums on this island because no matter where you are as you've referenced on, on the decision, on the question, you might be for, you might be against, or you might be somewhere in between. You need to know what it is you're voting for. You need to know what it is you're, you're voting against. And I think that one thing that is clear, well, two actually, I think there is a border poll coming at some stage. Um, and I also think that Brexit has been a huge catalyst for what could potentially be the breakup of the Union, the United Kingdom, as we currently see it. It's okay. advanced that conversation in Scotland. Because we've and, only got and five on minutes the, left and I need to get and, the rest and of the on this island, I'll, I'll be very quick as a finish. On this island, it is about how you phrased it. It's a new Ireland. It's not about rubbing a line out of a map. It's a new Ireland okay. where all of the protections of the Good Friday Agreement are there no matter what your position and no matter whether you're British, Irish or okay. either.